Hey guys, the objective of this video is just to look at some um, ideas and formulas we're going to be using in the next video for um, an example. Um, okay, so essentially the, pr the previous videos we've done have been using um, crazy stuff like uh, differential equations and all this type of stuff to find buckling modes and loads and all that type of stuff. So there is an easier way of doing it. If you're not asked to find um, the buckling modes and loads and all that type of stuff, there's a, just a general formula you can use to find the first mode of Euler buckling and its corresponding load which causes that. So to do this though, you have to know some standard cases um, and we're going to do them now. So we have a simply supported beam. Now I've got here psi, which is um, related to this formula here. We have LE, which is the effective length on L. So for a simply supported beam, LE on L is 1. So you can see that the effective length is essentially um, a length between points of inflection of a beam. So this has points of inflection. So its effective length is the same as its actual length, which is just LE on L will be 1. You can find psi using this formula here and re re rearrange it to get 1. The cantilever is the second case. Now for the cantilever, its point of inflection would continue like this, so it's symmetrical about here, until you get something like that, okay? So LE, so if this was 10 meters, the effective length would be 20 meters. So LE on L is two. Using this formula here, you can find this to be 0.25. The next one we have is the prop cantilever. Its LE on L is 0.699, and its psi value, which is uh, using this, would give you 2.046. Okay, so guys, these are just things you would like to, um, you'd want to remember because it's going to make the next thing a little bit easier. So the next thing we need to do is the radius of gyration, which is just I on A. Then we have lambda, which is the slenderness ratio, which is LE, the effective length on R, the uh, radius of gyration. And then finally, the stress which, the stress which causes Euler buckling is pi squared E, which is the elastic modulus, over lambda squared, this value here. And the last thing we need to talk about is this graph here, which plots a load against the slenderness ratio. Now, if your slenderness ratio is uh, greater than a certain